Welcome back to Electric Gear, and we're here at Sandals, and I'm here with Robert Hayes, and everybody knows Robert from the Airplane series, and surely you must be happy to be here. Oh, I am happy, but don't call me Shirley. <laughs> <laughs> I knew you would get it. See you everywhere, and you know, I know you must be tired. You're like, geez, everywhere. I go, in, in London, I'm there. New York, you must be, that's Charlie again? That boy don't got a job. <laughs> and everybody's been so beautiful to us. It's really, in fact, I'm going to stay here. Mom, I'm not coming home. I'm going to marry my African queen. I'm going to get married here. You, you'll have the wedding here for me? Yes. <laughs> Behind me is Notre Dame, the cathedral Notre Dame. And you know, it's a very, very famous cathedral. And it's right here on one of the two islands in the River Seine. Okay, and Notre Dame was built many, many hundreds of years ago, and it's named after the Virgin Mary, and it means Our Lady. We're going to show you more of Notre Dame and scenes of Paris with more music from Electric Air. A lot of people come down here and record, and it's so relaxing. Did you get work done, or was it like too nice of a place to work, you know? No, it's a beautiful place, but I definitely got work done. You know, the vibe was right for me. I like the heat, I like the hotness. That makes me work harder. And also, you work with um, a legendary artist, Michael Jackson. What was that like now? I mean, it was cool. You know, to me, at that point, I wasn't really looking at it as like, as Michael Jackson, or as Michael. I just looked at it as like, it's a check. <laughs> Go do your rhyme and, and, and leave it at that. This must be one of the most beautiful venues to have ever perform. Yeah, it's not very often we get to play in the middle of an island, you know. Usually, we're in the middle of nowhere usually <laughs> like this, but it's not in the middle of an island, so it's beautiful. So you know how to, to do these rafts or what? Yeah, yeah man, you raft like that, but you, raft, you can raft with the bamboo. And then you can also do two of as well. Yeah. Now you could you could roll one of these, or yeah. what? You could tip us over if we go on this. Yeah, man, I could do that. Oh, you could tip us over, Roger. Yeah, yeah, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. No problem. I could do the rafting. Uh oh. Yeah, man. So a man of all trades, you could raft, drive, anything yeah. we want. Yeah, man. I want a helicopter. I want to go in the helicopter. No, no, I don't really know about the helicopter. No. no we no, can't no. helicopter. What about submarine? I want to go in the submarine. No, no, I don't. I, no, I don't really know about the submarine. Oh, yeah. what about horseback riding, Roger? Well, sometimes, but not too, I don't really have much experience about it. I'm <laughs> just kidding with you, man. <laughs> it's all right. So does uh, uh, karate and all your martial arts, does that help you with this? Do you I like kick so. the Balanced. Balanced help. But uh, I'm having a great time here. Oh, yeah? And the people in the Bahamas are very wonderful. Where do you find the time, man? Two movies out this summer? Yeah, I'm working. I'm just working on it. You know what I'm saying? I'm in the studio every night. I'm not sleeping. I'm just staying focused though and just working on, you know, what I feel is a is a good album and hopefully people will agree with me, you know? I think they will. They've agreed in the past. What about when you're just kicking back listening to music? Is it always country? Do you like other different flavors? Oh no, I listen to uh well I listen to a lot of pop music and uh, rock and roll. Um, you know, I get I get my flavor of the islands from Jimmy Buffett, who I'm a big fan of, and uh James Taylor. Yeah. Um, I, I listen to a lot of classic rock, and then uh, and I like some bluegrass. Yeah. Well, listen. No matter if you're a country music fan or not, everybody loves Clint Black music. We are here in front of the Lion of Waterloo, or Le Lion du Waterloo. Okay. That's my uh, my French for you, because in this part of Belgium, they speak French mainly, and this commemorates the victory against Napoleon, the dictator Napoleon. And this was the last battle he fought. And I think we've heard this before in our history classes, the Battle of Waterloo. And they won. They kicked Napoleon's butt. He's out of here. Our show is going to be all throughout Brussels. I'm going to show you some beautiful parts of Brussels, the old city, the, the center. And also, it's snowing here. This is winter time. It's, you know, the beginning of winter here in Brussels. And it's so beautiful. This snow just fell last night just for you. Okay? So we're going to have a wonderful electric air all the way from Belgium.